Morning dudes, how you going? Man, I haven't streamed in such a long time. How's everybody going? How's my voice? Is it weird? Where's everybody watching from, by the way? Because I think only a handful of us are really watching on Sunday morning. France, 11 p.m. New Zealand, Legends. Texas, California, Canada. I feel like I get a lot of viewers from California. It's probably because of Springwood and because of Marble Mountain, to be honest. Um, I think the voice and the mouth are in sync for the time being, but they generally go off um, at some points. Belgium, Denmark, England. It's good to finally get some people from um, the Europe watching because usually it's uh, usually it's only people from the states or from Australia. So apologies, guys. Do I live in a Do I live in Sydney? Yeah, I do. Cool. Man, heaps of different places. Scotland. Holland. Awesome. Melbourne. Noice. That bloke will. Welcome, buddy. Alright, dudes. What do you think of the new series? Oh my god. That has um, been a massive work in progress. Uh, yeah, it feels so good to finally get it out. This is... Um, this would be a great opportunity to ask any questions about the new series, by the way. Um, let me just get my screens a bit better. I haven't streamed in such a long time. I feel like I'm really rusty. Uh, I am very rusty. Sweet. All right, let's have a look at what we're going to do today. So, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I asked you guys uh, to submit some radio announcements slash music slash uh, DJs, news reports, adverts, all these really cool uh, voice memos have been flooding in, which has been awesome. I still want them to come in, by the way. Uh, we're a little while away before I start uh, making a video that's going to be like about that. Mostly because, like, the streets of Marble Mountain are, they're good, but I, I want them to be a little bit more detailed before I start doing, like, a driving video. So, I think, not I think, <laughs> today I'm going to actually be working on this highway a bit. I'm going to be streaming for about an hour and a half, maybe about two hours. Uh, I want to try and get as much of this done as possible. I'll probably figure out the road layout and how I want things to go, and then... Uh, some sort of, I don't know, some sort of suburbs. I still want most of this to be Montana. Because uh, I want there to be like a really clear difference between uh, Copper Falls and then the capital city. So that's the plan for today. So let's just see how we go. What happened to Springwood? Uh, yeah, uh, by the way... For all of you guys wondering about Springwood, I tried to open up the save game for about a month and a half ago because I had some really great ideas for things to build and then, um, I don't know, I think I've got like a bad asset in there and it just wasn't loading so I have to, I don't know, I have to figure out what's wrong with it. I didn't troubleshoot it for too long, I, um, yeah, I had to, I was running out of time so I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna jump back into Mile Mountain and we'll see how it goes, but, um, yeah. I mean, it's not dead. I mean, I feel like Springwood is one of those series that I just always jump in and out of. I know it's been a while, but now that Sichuan Province is out, um, we'll be focusing on these series and trying to get as much done as possible, if that makes sense. So yeah, I mean, it's not dead. It's just, it's kind of just chilling out for a little while until we figure out how to get back into it. 
Yeah, it's damn sad. Would ever do a live episode of Sichuan Province? Yeah, for sure. The first few episodes are going to be pre-recorded. Uh, I've actually pre-recorded probably about uh, maybe about six of the episodes, so all that building has already been done. Um, but I've only recorded the commentary for uh, three of the episodes, so then I can actually answer some of the questions and um, take on some of the feedback you guys have been suggesting. So that way, that way I can sort of keep up to date with everything that's happening. If that makes sense. How does my game not crash for all the mods? Well, to be honest, my uh, yeah, my P I need to get a new PC. My CPU is starting to really um, totally tank. Um, the way that I pronounce Chongqing is pretty much correct. That's really good news because I feel <laughs> like I've totally butchered it. Uh, I don't speak Mandarin, so apologies if it doesn't sound that good. Cool, 170 people watching. That's very exciting. Let's unpause the game and let's start building. Um, I really need to focus on the builds. I'm going to be diving in and out of answering questions. So um, yeah, keep them coming. I will, um, yeah, I will get to them. Now, uh, how's all the audio? Um, apologies if the sync, the voice gets all mixed up. That's kind of the way it works. Um, the airport is a while away. We're not going to be doing a, um, yeah, we're not going to be doing an airport for a long time, unfortunately. A few other projects to do before the airport. Um, is YouTube my full-time job? No, it's not. I am um, just pretty dedicated. Now, all right, I'm just going to look at my game for a little while, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try really hard not to look at all the text that's popping up. So, we, um, we've actually been doing a fair bit of work on Montana over the last couple of weeks. Uh, off camera, to be honest. Actually, on camera, but you, just, you guys just haven't seen the episode yet. So, I can't really show you too much of Montana, anything past here. Uh, because there's too many spoilers. So... I mean, this is pretty much all you're going to see of Montana. Can I scroll back a little bit further? There we go. All right. That's about as far as I can go. So this episode is going to be focusing mostly around here, unfortunately. And um, yeah, you guys will just have to stay tuned for all that other goodness. Today, I do want to focus around here. So like I said, I want there to be a really clear difference between Montana and then the greater region. But this needs to be, there needs to be a bit of work here. So... All right, so we need to figure out the road layout first. This road, la this road is gonna follow probably. Oh, here we go. This road can actually connect up to this guy. Actually, that works quite nicely, because that's then a bit of a, like a uh, bit of a highway, just like a one-lane highway. And then there's also, <clears throat> excuse me, there's also this road here that cuts through the mountain. And there's this guy here as well that we could um, extend a little bit through here. So I might just work on some of the roads and we'll just see how we go. The airport will be across the river, yeah. That's, that's where I'm planning on putting it. Uh, someone's working on their city while they watch my live stream. Um, that's that's a great idea. So, um, what sort of neighborhood do you think should be around here? Do you think it should be a fairly, I don't know, fairly rich neighborhood? I'm obviously taking inspiration from uh, those highways that cut into the mountains in uh, Los Angeles um, as they spread through... Uh, some of those like more wealthier neighborhoods like Beverly Hills and all those sort of places, Hollywood. That's the general gist of what I want this area to look like. Uh, I'm going to be going for like a mixture of low detail and high detail, but um, yeah, it's going to be probably mostly low detail residents. I don't know. What do you think about that? Lock that guy. See you later. Rich. Yeah, I think rich too. Maybe rich up until around here or something.
Um, look, uh, by the way, I'm just doing like real rough roads and then we'll... <laughs> Beautiful, how's that? I hate all these power lines. They're just there temporary, by the way. I'm going to totally get rid of them. Oh, ZZZ, which is pretty much what I feel right now. Um, just donated. Thank you so much. Just wanted to stop by and send some dollars to support the new series. Love your stuff. Can't wait for the next episode. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Um, I might have to give you a house. Maybe you can have one of these houses. Oh, yeah. There you go, buddy. We've got a house in Marble Mountain. Not a bad one, although I think the colour needs to be... Ooh. Ooh. That's bad. Thanks, man. Much appreciated. So, let's figure out this... Oh, actually, hold on. What I would like also like to do is... There needs to be some sort of connection here, so it's not completely... So it's not completely cut off. So let's maybe create a bit of a valley. A bit of terraforming. So you guys agree, some rich neighborhoods. Um, and I also think that we should, this should be a suburb. So it shouldn't be an extension of any other place. It should be like its own proper suburb. So maybe, I don't know, suburb names as well. That might be good. Um, let's just get the bare bones. So, tend to get the roads in first and then we'll figure out the proper terraforming later. Weave this guy through. Do you know what we should do? Now that that's there, Might even extend this over around here, so it connects there, crosses, comes around up here. Now, uh, yeah, that's that's the way we're gonna do it. Might have to put like a bit of a ridge there so that can actually justify going around that bend. Yeah, I don't think this space will be as nice as Beverly Hills, but I would like it to be. Um, like a fairly, fairly nice neighborhood. Let's try that. And then I'll cross here. So, I mean, you guys, you guys know my style. I do a whole bunch of roads like this to figure out exactly, um, yeah, exactly where everything's going to go. And then, um, yeah, then we'll detail and fix it all up later. Uh, that bloke will to us 20. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Uh, love me some Marble Mountain and chill on Sunday. Thanks, dude. You're the last person that needs to be donating money. You, um, you do enough for the channel, mate. But I appreciate it. So I'm only going to do one... Cross, I think. Actually, I might do a couple of crosses, but this one actually might connect up to the highway because otherwise the only way that they're going to get to their suburb is here. And I don't really want them crossing over here to get to this suburb, if that makes sense. I really would like a nice clear difference between the different um, places. And Victorville is a good one. Well, a lot of people like in Victorville. Patino Hills. Oh, I like that. That's pretty cool. Do, 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 do. Yeah, a lot of people enjoying Victorville. Victorville, Victorville. Um, what was my thoughts on the Area 51 raid? Um, I think it went down really well. I think it was exactly what we anticipated. I'm um, just over 200. Okay, got 240 viewers. Almost had 220 viewers. Uh, 
Uh, all right. You probably need to extend a little bit further. Beautiful. You guys happy with that? All right. Really love this train line. That train line's probably going to stay, stay somewhere around there. So I guess it can't be too nice if it's got a train line cutting across. Oh, by the way, I'm trying to figure out, so I know, keep getting distracted. This is the whole point of live stream is to get distracted. This is um, obviously cargo line and that's um, going all the way into Copper Falls and um, it also extends over to these, um, over to this place over here, um, which is the Cooper Forestry area. So um, we're getting like really good freight. Now, I don't know if it's realistic to have um, also my passenger service run along the same line or whether I should have a different line. We do have another cargo freight line that goes along here, which is only dedicated to freight. So, um, yeah, what do, you, what do you think? Should I try and restrict this to only passenger service or do I maybe, um, I don't know, make it a multiple one? I'm not really sure. <clears throat> Now, the key is to not just go too straight, because otherwise, it kind of doesn't really... It's not very realistic. Also, sorry about being late with my stream. I, um... Yeah, for some reason, I lost a couple of assets when I loaded um, this save game, and... Uh, yeah, I had to, like, find them. There's actually a couple of assets that have lost and I need to like some of the freight trains that have um subbed to have now disappeared which is very annoying and I couldn't figure out where they would disappear to so fortunately they're lost I'm gonna have to plop them again but I didn't really want to wait any longer with this stream oh it's raining um someone's yeah saying that I should add a passenger line Um, someone's saying that the inner the intercity transits can also use the same line. Um, I feel like they can too. Mix would be quite cool. Um, Dex, they ask, hey, can I ask you what you do for a living? Um, is it your full time job being a YouTuber? Um, no, it's not my full time job. Uh, like really, I mean it. It's definitely a second job because um, I probably put the same amount of hours in as I do with my regular job. Anyone want to make a guess of what my full-time job is? Any guesses? I feel like some people already know. What do you think? What do you think I really do for a job? What do I look like? What do I look like? My cop? Go work in advertising. Go work at Woolworths. What am I? City planner? A tradie? A tradie? Do I look like a tradie? Do these hands look like tradie hands? I wish they looked like tradie hands. A designer, a writer, an architect, an artist. Grocery store. Gardener. Engineer. I used to be a gardener, actually. Ah, oh, dude, thank you so much for the donation. Love your videos. So excited to see more Sichuan province. Can't wait for the next episode. Dude, I can't wait to show you the next episode. It's going to be really fun. It's actually going to be out on Wednesday, which is very cool. Um, mate, let's give you a house. Let's put you right next to this one. Oh, let's give you a big one. Let's give you one with a view. Now that's a view. I'd show you the view, but there's too many spoilers. Not capitals, dude, come on. Uh, no, where's your name going? There you go, my friends. And while we're at it, 
Let's give Cameron. Oh, good at your evening, mate. Thank you so much for the donation, dude. Much appreciated. I like to do this because I feel really bad. Like, well, no, I don't feel bad, but at least people give me these donations. I've got to give them something in return. There you go, mate. You got yourself a house. Not a bad spot either. Actually, this is... I was talking about places to live, and I think... Like, that would probably be one of my places I'd like to live. Lava Mountain. That's Bayview, by the way. Alright. My job is... <laughs> a lot of people were... I guess in architects, a lot of people were guessing designer, um, gardener, tradie. Um, I'm actually a school teacher. So, so take that. Does that make sense how I can actually get ahead of my videos in the school holidays? Pretty much just become a YouTuber in the school holidays. Uh, what grade do I teach? I actually teach year five and six, which is like elementary school, but the um, older grades. So about, a l I don't know, 11 and 12 years old. It's great. You should all become teachers. The best job ever. I'm pretty happy with some of these. I mean, these are obviously a little bit steep, but I do want this area to be quite steep. Um, now, we've got a good opportunity to extend another road up here, I think. Like, well, let's create that valley a little bit better. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. But we'll create, we'll create a little bit of a valley in there, have a road extend up, and then that way we can get some roads going up to this area, which I want to be kind of like a, a bit of a holiday destination. Right, I'm going to read some comments, and then we're back to work. Oh, Mr. Potential, thank you so much. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, um, why did you start the China City before you finished this? Um, I'm going to keep working on this. I'm actually, um, yeah, I don't plan to stop this series at all. Um, I'm actually super excited about both of them. I, I actually can't stop playing Marble Mountain. I'm totally obsessed. And um, I'm going to whip open Sichuan Province next week and i'm also very excited to do that uh, duh, 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 duh. uh do any of my students watch my videos uh yeah unfortunately they they found out a bunch of hackers duh, 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 duh. Duh, 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 duh. What are my relight settings? All right, let's answer that question and we'll go back to everything. Oh, actually, and I might be able to ask you guys a bit of advice too. Um, these are my relight settings. Let's get to a spot where you can actually see them a little bit better. They look like that. Um, and I'm also using the coastal uh, LUT. <clears throat> Do they pay teachers good in Australia? Gator asks. Not really. Well, it's not bad, but um, the workload is pretty crazy. <clears throat> guys, I'm out of coffee. Uh, guys, can you help me out with this thing? So when I put on Force Low Shadow BIOS, um, BIOS, sorry, it's I mean, I, it looks so much better. But then when I do my cinematics, it I get like a crazy flicker. Um, it's very annoying because that's such an important setting. It makes such a huge difference. Yeah, it's very annoying. But that's my realize settings, if you were wondering. Du -du 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 -du. All right, let's get back to it, damn it. Now that I look at it, it would make sense that this road becomes a highway and it stretches up around here. So we're going to do a fair bit of terraforming. So let's just, let's just get some squiggly lines going in here. He's going to stretch on up. Let's move him around like here. And like that. 
now, let's yeah, let's create a bit of a valley. Um, let's turn off this now. We can snake around these valleys. I don't want to make them too. So this would be this would end up being like a bit of a highway. I don't really plan to have any houses going up this way, but when I do make these roads. They generally snake up through the valleys like this. That's gonna be awesome. Then we're gonna reach that eventually. Bam. Let's just leave it like that for the time being. Um, what's the height difference there? Kind of crazy, but let's just fix these guys up. That's a little steep. That's probably too bad. And this is generally how I plan my roads. It's just like, just draw the path really rough. And then once I, once I'm pretty happy with how it looks, then we can get into it. Um, bugger off. I oh mean, I really miss live streaming. I really need to be doing this more often. Is this how you guys plan roads as well, or is it just me? I actually really enjoy doing the road layout. Probably why I start so many series. Let's just fix this guy up a bit. I want to fix this guy up. And look, it's going to be a bit steep, but you know. And then how good is it going to be when we start doing the driving through Mon Marble Mountain episodes? Like, we'll just have, I'll just do like a cinematic, you know, it'll be like, starting here and then finishing up around here and then we'll just have like a whole you know old car trip going around these roads do you see why this series never ends like this is this is what i wanted for springwood but just far too many mods and assets and um this, the city was just unsustainable so yeah um rad willy dude thank you so much what subject do i teach um being an elementary school teacher, I uh, you have to teach all of them, like all the subjects. So science, English, history, maths. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I got to teach all of them, which which is great because I freaking love teaching all those subjects. Here you go, buddy. Let's give you a nice modern house with. Oh, let's give it a little one. Rad Willy. <laughs> the Rad Willy resident, residence. The Wad Willy residence. Not a bad house, dude. It's a bit, a bit steep and a little bit scary, but it's not a bad place. Um, Young Purple. I'm lacking inspiration to create a map, and I don't like any of the workshop. I also tried um, Terrain Party, but I find it inaccurate. Um, does anyone have any advice? I would, if I was you, I would find something that's close to what you want to do. So Marble Mountain is I actually had a map that I, I I liked parts of it. So I liked the mountain part of it and I liked some of the other little mountains. But then there was like water all the way around here. I mean, I'd, I'd check out my very first episode of this series and you'll see how much I changed it. No oh, Siri, I wasn't talking to you. No. Oh. So, yeah. I, um... Go and check out that episode because that might give you a bit of inspiration. Um, you were talking about Springwood. Did I miss anything? Is it officially dead? No, it's not officially dead. It's um, it's for all those people who didn't hear at the very beginning of the episode. I tried to open it up a couple, like about a month ago, and there was, I don't know, it just wouldn't let me open it. There was an asset. I think there's a road network that is maybe not. On the workshop anymore and when there is a um a network that is no longer like 
So basically, if I stopped, if I let's say uh, this road, which I've downloaded from the workshop, and I just draw that there, and then I close the game, and then whoever uploaded that road to the workshop decides to take it off, then my whole game, my whole save won't load. So it's really scary when you use those sort of roads because um like networks from the workshop because basically if anyone removes them then your save game screwed uh luckily there's a whole like you know if you just save it locally then you're pretty sweet but because springwood is so massive i um and there's so many assets in that save i um you know all i need to really do is go through and find the one that's missing but i just didn't have the time when i was trying to record that episode so i just had to you know worked on it for a couple of hours trying to figure out how to get it open but um, i just was like you know what i need to move on because otherwise i'm not gonna have a video out this week so um so yeah so yeah springwood is not dead springwood will never die and i know it's been a while since i recorded an episode for it but i um yeah i really just want to work on some other projects for the time being and when we go back to it we'll go back to it um i actually would re i'm really inspired in springwoods to finish off the train line and connect up the passenger services a little bit better and that was my intention when i first opened up the save or tried to open up the save was to work on that train line just do like three episodes because i thought that would make a really cool um like little uh little couple of episodes but um yeah it just didn't happen so it's not dead it just um i'm just gonna focus on a couple of other things plus i'm insanely busy at the moment so by the way i'm just moving this <laughs> by the way that's not gonna stay but i don't want to say it it's in my way it's in my way it's in my way it's in my way all right i'm gonna keep this super simple Um, let's start it from about there. Oh, actually, let's change this road. Really like it how thin it gets. Mm. And that little segment's annoying too. Let's just fix this guy up. Wow, almost 300 people watching. That's beautiful. So something like that. Crazy steep. You know, this ass doesn't really need to be that high. Let's just lower this bad boy. You know, that's as high as it really needs to be. And then that can just dip down. In fact, this could be running. Oh, that was close. Dude, you're going backwards. See yourself. And we'll just do this. Getting huge amounts of freight coming in, which is awesome. Still losing just <laughs> money, like crazy, bleeding money in this series. That's all I do. Yeah. I feel like this might need to be a bit closer. I don't know. What do you think? Should I get it a little bit closer? Should add some dirt roads around those windmills. Yeah, I think I should too. I um, I plan to change how many I have. There's like that they're undetailed. I'm just like, I'm literally just plopping them down whenever I need more power.
Uh, my voice doesn't match my face. <laughs> really? Uh, pub gaming. Pug gaming. Hey, going, dude. Um, where would we be without moving? Yeah, mate, I have no idea. Um, how many hours do I have on City Skylines? About 3,000. But I've been playing... Look, just, just stop freaking out. I know that sounds like a lot, but... I... Considering I've been playing since the game first came out, and when I have to do recordings, I'll just have to leave it running, and, uh, you know, sometimes I'll leave the house and I've still got the game running. Alright, so stop judging me. Does anyone have more than 3,000 hours? I'm pretty sure Maddie has something insane like that. Leader, leader of the monkey, that is. It's still a little steep. Ooh. Let's, let's just get you a little bit further back. So basically, I don't want to... Like, obviously, I want to try and create a little bit of realism. So, Marble Mountain's like a balance between realism and also trying to keep within some of a scale that can be manageable for a whole province. You know, if I was going to create a realistic interchange, then I would, you know, it'd probably have to, these off ramps, on ramps, would probably have to extend all the way out here. But, um, because there's pretty much like my mind's out of the city over here, and this is still kind of in the city, I don't want it to be too massive. That's probably a little long. That's a little long. Alright, does anyone have any longer hours than me? 3,000 is nothing. I'm at 4,450. Nice one, dude. I appreciate that. Atis, welcome, buddy. 4.7. How do I how do I handle a decreasing hairline? I know, right? It does look like it's decreasing, but um, I've actually just, I come from a family of high foreheads. The shut up. It's getting a bit better. Um, who's that look at you through your window? Bum, 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 bum. There's no one. Stop freaking me out. The blinds are closed and it's raining outside. this we should be able to get something a little and it's not perfect I don't care all right let's get this let's just finish this up keep building it and um, by the way the next episodes of Sichuan province is just like a fat interchange that's almost killed me it's an epic episode just because it just took so long to finally get that thing to work but um yeah then intersection that i created in Sichuan province on wednesday is yeah almost killed me Stop talking about nuts. I'm just gonna, just gonna hide you. Just keep the chat a little clean. Thank you very much. We're playing City Skylines here. Got 
Fortnite. The peaceful game. Building a city, damn it. Family friendly channel, if you haven't noticed. Alright, this is sloppy as, but whatever. I would rather see this suburb than worry about too much of how this looks. Come on, buddy. Where are you? Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Something like that. We're getting there. Mr. Aviation, please keep it clean. Does anyone want to be my moderator? Come on. Please don't go underground. Maybe I need to go. Bam. Bam. Dude. Alright, so let's try that then. We're gonna be in it. Um, cool. Moderation is a hard work, yeah. A lot of people saying me. Uh, Gate of the Gods, do you want to be a moderator? Yeah. My man. Use your power wisely. Be kind. Keep it family friendly. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's looking good. Whoa. See what I mean? I don't want it to be too big, otherwise it's gonna just take up too much room. I think, but that I think that's alright. That just needs to be extended a little bit. So a lot of you guys are saying that I should keep this place fairly, um, fairly nice, fairly rich area, and I totally agree. I think that'd be really, really cool. Get some big mansions up on these hills, some big windy roads. Let's just extend this guy here. Sweet. Like that. Alright, fellas, we're making some progress. What do you think? Silver King, thanks, dude. Much appreciated. Um, if you haven't noticed, I've just been extending out Bayview uh, just teeny bits over the last um, couple of weeks. You know, every now and again, I'll just be like, ah, oh, I don't know, got two minutes, I'll just pop out a couple of buildings. Because I think building up this suburb here is going to be kind of boring. So I'm just going to probably do that myself. Um, I can't imagine that the city is going to finish around here. Might have a couple of scattered houses, but that's going to be pretty much it. Um, like I said earlier, I do want there to be a really nice clean line between the city and Copper Falls. Uh, this is obviously out of the city, so we've got to like kind of stop it somewhere. I think the suburb that we create is going to stop around here. Um, it's going to kind of peter off into just smaller places. And this wiggly road around here will have a few scattered places, but not too much. Um, but we are making some progress. It's time to get, it's time to get pretty far, which is nice. Um, your CPU and RAM aren't that good. Do you think of upgrading? Yeah, I actually, um, I've been meaning to upgrade. My RAM's good, but my CPU is not. Uh, my CPU is probably about five years old now, and I, uh, yeah. When I didn't have NBN, or when I didn't have good internet, 
I would have to upload a video for about, I don't know, it used to take about 30 hours. And um, yeah, it used to take about 30 hours. So with me coming home from work and working on an episode and then uploading all night and throughout the day, and then again, working and then editing and my computer was on pretty much 24 seven for about a year and a half. So I think I've pretty much fried my computer. Whoa, too far. Okay, dokes. Let's, let's get some wiggly roads and I'm going to start over here. And we'll terraform later because I think that's going to be a bit boring. So I kind of want to use some of these roads as the smaller, smaller ones. Just because they're nice and nice and small, I don't really want there to be... I, realistically, I want these mountains to look big, but um, they're actually kind of small. Let's not go too high up. There. That's just insanely steep. Are we ramp is the wrong direction? <laughs> Would it be a two dollars twenty video without an incorrect highway connection or a roundabout that goes in the wrong way? Thanks, my man. Thanks for being nice about it too. Like 80% of the comments in my videos are like, dude, your highway is the wrong way. Dude, your roundabout's going in the wrong direction. I'm like, oh man, come on. Why? All right, these are gonna be some fairly steep roads, but I want that. A coffee robot. Want another one? Let's see. So I want to dip in and out. Well, that's probably still a bit steep. And I think like a little road going around here. Do you guys use these, these, um, uh, the uh, parking lot roads for non-parking lot usage? Because I do it all the time. I love these roads. Such a struggle working with crazy height differences, but I, I think it looks so much better. So that's something pretty cool. Jesus. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Gator, you're doing an amazing job, buddy. Steep, 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 steep. Impossible. I want this place to feel a little bit like Hollywood Hills. Um, good, a lot of people agreeing with the steepness. Good. I also think that, you know, otherwise we're gonna just totally kill this mountain. I don't wanna, I don't want it to just be nothing. I still want there to be a pretty decent mountain. I'll we'll have to put some safety railings around here too, just so cars aren't flying off the edge. That's just a little steep. Um, how about a road that is just there for a drive? Um, a good drive? Yeah, for sure. I've got a good drive snaking its way up there. I'm going to 
terraform them. Get the idea. No, I don't want the tree. So is anyone still watching from Europe or we all have we all gone to bed? What time must it be there? Are you from Western Australia? I'm from Sydney. East Coast. There's a few of us from Sydney. Labaliki's well, from Sydney. Catch up with him every now. The good man. That is looking pretty good. So, without it looking weird, I think I'm going to do a couple of dead ends, maybe? No, I actually might just leave it like that. No cul-de-sacs. Maybe I'll do a cul-de-sac here. Yeah, let's do that. I should have another. Yeah, let's do one of A small one this time. Up, see daisies. Thank you. Um, there's three kiwis in here. I don't know. Is there anybody else from New Zealand watching? I'm pretty sure there's a few of us. A few of us. I'm not New Zealand. Close enough. Joanne, Johan, dude, that is, that is so kind of you. Thank you so much, man. Hey, how you doing? Man, I'm doing really well. And thank you for, so much for that donation. Um, SEK, I don't know what that is. What, what currency is that? I feel like I need to give you a nice, a nice place. Cool. Now that's, now that is a view. I'm not going to show you the view because there's spoilers over there. Um, Alright buddy, let's give you this place. Dude, thank you so much. We've got probably one of the nicest views in Montana at the moment. Look at this. That is gorgeous to so looking at on a daily basis. Lucky you. All the way up to the coast. So you're not that close you're not that close to the coastline, but around here is gonna be quite nice at some stage. So don't worry. It's looking a little bit undeveloped at the moment, but it's gonna get really nice. Uber eats for dollars twenty. <laughs> yeah, well, it's breakfast time for me. I haven't had breakfast. No, that money is gonna go towards a new CPU because God damn, I need a new super you. And gosh, gosh dang it, I need a new CPU. Can I swear in live streams? I don't think I can. I can, but keeping it family friendly. I don't want Gator the gods to to report me. Alright, seems as there's a road there. Let's just snake this bad boy up here. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Is it going to be an airport? There sure bloody well is. Um, over this way, I can't show you because there's stuff over there that I don't want to show you. Um, no offense, but it's just private. Private for another episode. I'm not showing anyone. Oh my God, I'm... I made my desk into a standing desk and I've got the worst posture right now. Like, should be up like this, but I'm like. So, is this what you guys wanted to watch? Me building a whole bunch of roads? We should start getting in some, some, into some buildings in a sec. I promise. Let's just do a couple more roads. Five minutes of roads. Put a timer on. Hey, Siri. 
Set a timer for five minutes. You're the best here, I think. I actually didn't. I never used Siri. Um, Rad Wheelie, dude, stop donating, but thank you so much. I have been looking for some upper class houses, mansions on the workshop. Can you recommend any? Which ones do you use? So, uh, everything in Marble Mountain is vanilla. Um, when I say that, not everything in Marble Mountain is vanilla, but all the houses I use in Marble Mountain are vanilla. So, um, yeah, like all that is just, like, they're just vanilla. Uh, they're, they're like the villas. Um, the way I use it is I use find it and I search for growables and I go for these ones and then I scroll all the way to the end pretty much and that's where you start getting all the nicer buildings and then I start placing them down. Uh, otherwise, I'm, I can't really whip up my steam at the moment just because I'm pretty sure there's some stuff up there I can't show you guys but um, yeah. Uh, uh, Lee Joe creates some really amazing mansions and he's got some really cool ones that I um, that are like designed kind of like California-esque buildings um, they're designed for um, like cliffs and stuff like that I highly recommend them they look awesome I plan to use them in Springwood but actually that was going to be done in an episode a little while ago but never eventuated but yeah there's some pretty sick ones Oh, cool. Someone's here who did the Arcadia page, dude. Thank you so much for uh, doing all that, uh, doing all that history for Arcadia. I really love Arcadia. It's like such a sick little neighborhood. Oh, by the way, I've already done a little bit of work on Arcadia. It's just a little bit of a heads up to some of the work that I've been doing. Josh, <laughs> don't tell me not to donate. Um... I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. When I buy a new computer, just know that you're the one that's getting me there. So appreciate it. Alright, let's just turn down the strength. Um, oh boy. So we've only got a little bit more time left until Siri tells me to wrap it up. And then we'll start doing some houses. Well, let's do some roads first. That's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. There needs to be some roads around here. Maybe something like this snaking its way. But but yeah. So these bends, by the way, is giving me a bit of an idea of where I want the ridges to go, and then I'll um. I'll just ridge those up. Let's connect this guy here. Let's change that to that. This, no, let's keep that as a road. This, that will be maybe a roundabout at some stage, but we're not going to do that today. Um, oh, there's a pretty good connection here that we can use. No, not straight. I want to bend. Pretty funky looking roads. Steep. Steeper. That's looking good. Go away. Checking stuff. Driving through Montana. Be -be -be -be. Uh, can't wait to do these cinematics. They're going to be awesome. I'm getting some really great submissions as well for the radios. Like, keep them coming. Um, to be honest, what I really need is I need some more, like, generic... Uh, 
like pop radio station announcements. I've got like heaps of heaps of like more obscure stuff. Whoa. Okay. Right, I've got heaps of obs obscure radio stations and now I need to get more um now to get now I need to get like some more poppy like Ooh, welcome back to 95.3. You know there's like really obnoxious uh DJs that are always yelling at you. You like change your radio station like oh yelling at me all right i'm gonna start putting down some houses in a sec but I'll, let me just read some comments that's looking great i'm really excited for how many houses we can start placing down <sighs> um do i use traffic manager i do it's up there in the corner i don't use it very often though um, do I want realistic radio or parody radio? Um, I kind of want more parody, to be honest. Oh, sorry, Gate of the Gods. If, if I'm distracting you from uh, doing your own buildings, then um, please feel free to pass on the moderator role to um, someone if you're if you're busy. But I really appreciate it. Um, someone's making a Baltimore project. Awesome. Um, what is the guy's name you said? Um, Lijo. I will, uh, let me just see if I can find his stuff. Um, yeah, he makes some super awesome content. I um, mean, he's got some mansions. It's got some uh, mansions that sit up on the um, like cliff face, like they do in, um, like they do in California, like along the coastline. Uh, trying to find him. Spelling his name wrong. Um, yeah, Gate of the God, I'm, I'm kind of, I would love it to be a little bit more, uh, like the radio stations, I feel a bit like Grand Theft Auto, you know how, like, how good it is, I don't know about you guys, but when I used to play Grand Theft Auto, I used to, um, you just spend, like, half the time, uh, just driving around, obeying the rules, and listening to the radio, watching the sunset over the mansion, uh, mansions, <laughs> mountains, so I'm just reading the word mansion right now. Oh, the music stopped. Let's get that going again. Um, yeah, just look for Leisure. Look at uh, look up California mansions. There's actually a whole bunch of them on the workshop. They look really good. Um, ever thought about doing a city based on Dallas, Texas? Um, I've taken inspiration from. Uh, Dallas, Texas when I did Border Town, but um, no, I've, yeah, I mean in terms of American cities I almost did an American city, but I ended up choosing to do one in, based in China just because I wanted something different um, But I almost did one that was based on Detroit Because I find that place really interesting Oh, Scotland, what time is it in Scotland? Louise, it's late Guys, um, all right. I can. I think I've got about forty-five minutes left, and then I need to do some stuff for the week. Um, I'm moving, by the way. I'm moving in like a week's time. So, fingers crossed, we have good internet. Because I've really just got good internet here. Okay, dokes. Uh, so impressed everyone is watching from England. I really appreciate it. And from Europe. Just all of you. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, Alright, let's get some mansions. Now, I need to flatten this out just a touch so it's not too insane. 
Um, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use this guy. Let's do it like that. So let's just strengthen him up. Anyone else build on like crazy or like enjoys building on really steep or mountainous landscapes? I know like there's a lot of, it's crazy how many cities there are out there that actually are just built on mountains or around rivers and stuff. Like anyone else's projects looking similar to this. So this is my technique, by the way, I'm just gonna, yeah, so this is my technique. I find a building, place it down, get a couple in here. So you guys want a nice neighborhood? Let's get a nice neighborhood. The same building, just place it down in a couple of different locations where it fits, spread it out because I don't really want it to um, look repetitive. Um, too close, too close. Oh, and then let's get some, this one, I really like this building. It probably likes the flats more than anything which is a bit tricky in marble mountain so we're gonna just put a couple so i'm actually gonna be more a bit actually gonna be a little bit more strategic with this one because i can't just place it down everywhere um i will do an episode where i focus on like detailing these mansions a bit uh making them so that they're a bit more realistic but for this particular neighborhood we're just gonna we're just gonna place them down Uh, this is going to be a time-lapse episode. I'm just going to upload the way it is on YouTube. Um, yeah, a lot of other people use a lot of mountains. I find um, it more interesting when it comes to building cities. Um, otherwise, I feel like whenever I built... So when I built Border Town, that was pretty much on a flat, um, flat landscape and... I found that really quite boring. Let's make all the houses up here on the mountain. Up on the mountain. That's a bit too similar. This one's... It's got weird dimensions, that one, but it's kind of a cool looking building. And then, oh, this one. Now this one's like one of my all time favorites for I make a cool view. I'll have to change the color on a couple of these, but like I love that building. It's one of my faves. It reminds me of like a 70s uh, like mansion that sits up on like around Hollywood or something, overlooking the, all of the skyline in Los Angeles. Um, this one likes the flats as well. So this this is pretty much my process. And then we'll um, just straighten a couple of these up if they're in weird locations. Uh, make a city based on Dubai. Um, you should check out um, Silver Rat's series that he did based on Dubai. I mean, that's pretty much, like that's pretty much amazing. It's not pretty much amazing, it is amazing. Um, and it's still really good. And it's like two years old now, but it's still really such an awesome series. Bam. 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 And then for the more crazy steep places, I'm going to use much smaller buildings. All right, we're getting there. As we get further up here, they're going to get smaller, not quite as exciting. Yeah, this is pretty much my technique when it comes to building in uh, Arbor Mountain. Uh, when I do Sichuan Province, well, actually, I am doing Sichuan Province, but uh, that style is so much uh, is so different to this. So I'll be actually just be mostly placing down apartment blocks and they hold a, like a massive population just because I'm using the Rico mod so um, yeah, it's quite it's quite different styles uh, let's get some really love like that's like one of my favorites I think that's a really cool model
yeah that's gonna look awesome already really liking how it's turning out get some more of these ones so now i can start going back to ones that i've already placed down but just put them in more strategic locations like this one go somewhere like this it's not gonna be perfect but i don't know if you've ever seen the building placement in city skylines we need to zone that's pretty goddamn awful there can't be any worse than that um there's gonna be some houses around here too but um let's see how we go yeah let's get some around there but these ones aren't going to be quite as big because they're closer to the highway so i don't think they'd be as nice let's just get a couple of more of these styles to raise oh, let's go to these that one oh, I really like that one mm. I have to raise up that that highway a little bit I'm about to create a fence too um gate of the god wants to do a wild west project yeah, you've spoken about that dude I really like that idea um that was um that was kind of like my idea going to uh, Border Town, even though it's not the Wild West. I um, was like taking inspiration from a couple of like Quentin Tarantino movies. Um, at least that's what I wanted the soundtrack to feel like. Oh, look, that's not too bad. Come on, please. It's not too steep. If it's ever too steep, you can actually just place them like in places like that and drag them over. Like so. Let's go there. Break it up. awesome um go check out the salt lake city uh assets by uh by crazy fluid yeah he's um he's amazing i don't think he plays anymore which is a real shame but he was um i actually worked with him quite a bit when i was doing my down under series he created a whole bunch of assets um, based in australia because he actually he was american but he lived in australia for a little while um and yeah he was awesome when he was around. I don't know if he's still around. I think he might have he might have left. Alright, we are getting there kids. And I wanna I don't wanna just like place them absolutely everywhere. There's gonna be a bit of spaces, a bit of places as well where there's not gonna be um any houses. I want a bit of a mix between the nicest ones, like the big mansions and then something a little bit smaller so as we get a little bit further away from the city you're gonna get a touch smaller i'm also going for mostly these orange roof houses just because um i just think they fit the scene a bit better i mean some of these are just god awful colors but you know I'm trying to do a vanilla city here Vanilla ish. Mm. Uh, add some parks in the area. Yeah, I really should probably. Can you show your FPS? Um, it's probably a bit too late to show it now. I'd probably need to change some settings, but it wouldn't be very high. Let's just let's just say that, unfortunately. Um, just but I mean, in Marble Mountain, it's pretty good. But when I'm streaming, I um, yeah, my CPU just tanks, which is one of the reasons why I want to upgrade. And one of the reasons why, because I was streaming a bit and then I chilled out, um, mostly because I, yeah, I thought I was going to be able to stream really nice, um, really nice and smooth because generally my game is running not too bad, but it was really bad. Alright, let's build up this place. Boop. 
Oop. How the hell's we have a news for a while? These guys are pretty close to the train line, so let's not make them too nice. But I'm going to build the airports, not for a while, to be honest. There's, um, I really just wanted to know if you guys wanted me to build an airport. And yeah, I'm just going to, I'm actually just going to hold off building the airport for a while. Just because there's a couple of other projects I want to tackle in Marble Mountain before I do. Um, plus, I don't know, I feel like I only did build an airport. But in saying that, it's definitely going to, it's definitely coming. It's definitely happening. It's not too steep. Come on. There we go. Let's lower this guy. Let's have a look. Let's just appreciate it. Man, we are making some progress, guys. I call that very successful. Ah, uh, bot one. Dude, thank you so much. $2.20. Much appreciated. New Zealand dollars. I think that's pretty close to the Australian dollars. Which is, um, yeah. Thanks, dude. Really appreciate it. Um, let's get you a house... Let's get you a house. Hmm. Let's get you one of these nice ones. Hey. The bot one residence. How's that? Did we change your colors. Good. Let's actually let's give you a real seventy look for a house. There you go. Get a bit of an orangey house. Hope you don't mind. It's pretty steep though, bro. It's pretty steep. Thanks. I'm sure you'll be alright. Just don't have any kids because, you know, that'd be pretty dangerous. So with that train line there, we don't want to make this area too pretty. My god, it's gonna look so cool. Like just driving around here. It's gonna be awesome. Coming in. Wicked X. Ghetto the God wants a house in the ghetto. Mate, I'll um yeah, the ghetto, by the way. Is uh, I can't even show you. Kind of a bloody show you, mate. There's spoilers down that way. The ghetto is like down here, over there. That's where the ghetto is. All around here is like the generally nice, nicer areas. So Strathfield's fairly decent. I wouldn't mind living there. And it's um, just more of like a, just like a regular suburb. Um, around here, Linden Heights is fairly nice. Got some pretty big houses, but a little bit more bushy. Actually, that would be quite a nice spot to live. Um, Bayview is one of the nicest areas in Marble Mountain, and I'm actually going to save a few of these houses around here for some more of these, like, massive mansions that I'll end up splicing together. So that's going to be a full episode, just building up some mansions. I also think I might do some massive houses around here too, but we'll just wait and see where that when that happens. Around here is fairly decent as well, but I'm not going to do too much detail work on these guys, but they're quite nice. Um, but the ghetto is back down that way. I haven't really detailed the ghetto yet or some of the less nice neighborhoods. So like Arcadia is not very nice. And um, there's a couple of other ones that I forgot the name of. You don't want to live. You don't want to live around there. Trust me. Unless your name's Gator the God. Then you might want to live there. These houses right next to the train line. I don't know. Like personally... I really like living next to the train line. Not that my house right now is next to the train line, but I used to have a house in the city. It's pretty close to the train. I used to like it. 
Not that I'm much of a train guy. Yeah, so a bit of a bit of a mix here. We've got some really nice places, then we've got some kind of average ones. A smaller place with a view. Small place with a view. Um, oh, okay. Let's just get this district as well. Um, so if you guys haven't noticed, I'm, um, I'm working really hard to like make sure everything's named to make sure that everything has its like own story behind it. Uh, because I really don't want to just be placing down places and placing down places and uh, just going like, oh yeah, and this is a suburb, and this is a suburb. I really want there to be a bit of uh, history and atmosphere and uh, story behind each suburb. A bit of character and um, particularly if you guys are you know contributing and um, you know putting in your two cents about where, what places are like um, and that's the whole point of the wiki page as well I um that's what I really like about the wikis that like you guys actually can create the stories behind these locations so in saying that let's let's start getting ready to name this suburb and um, if you are someone who adds to the wiki then Feel free to feel free to start coming up with like a bit of a history or story or you know who lives here. We've got a couple of people who live here already. Uh, so we had a couple of name suggestions. Um, who was well, what were some of the names again? I've already forgotten. What were some of the names that people suggested? Let's hold off naming that for the time being. There were a couple of name suggestions, and if anyone has, anyone else has some other names, then please um, write them below, and we'll name it. But yeah, I, uh, that's what I really like about my series, about building in City Skylands, is actually coming up with all these names and um, places, and trying to base them off places that already exist in real life, because I think that creates a bit more interest. Oh, dude, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Sergia, Sergia Nita. Sergia Nita. Dude, I really appreciate that. Um, let's give you a house. Do you want a house in this neighborhood? You want this nice little one here? Oh, gee. I might want to live there. Yeah, let's put you up here. Yeah, this is a house. We'll, we'll, add, we'll add a little bit more, but I, look at that, pretty much all windows, modest, not too big. There you go, my man. You've got a house in Marble Mountain. And whatever this suburb is going to be called, this is a place you can call home. Uh, Precipio Heights, Newtonville, Diamond Heights, Victorville, that's what people are saying. Victorville, should we do Victorville? Victor Hills? Kind of like Victor Hills. Victorville, Victor Hills. Victorville is very popular. I can't really argue with, I can't really argue with that. Bullet Eckerton. All right. Guys, what do you think? Victorville or Victor Hill? Is it Victorville or Victor Hills? What do you think? Victor Hills, Victor Hills, Victor Hills, Victor Hills, Victor Hills. Hills, 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 Hills. Mm, 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 mm. Victor Hills. Would you want to live in Victor Hills? Johan Carlson, dude, is this enough for some ghetto real estate? You want a place in the ghetto. Dude, I really appreciate it. 
Didn't I already give you a house? Alright, let's say that you're... I'm pretty sure you live around here, Victor. Not Victor, sorry. That's the name of that suburb. Um, Johan. That's your place. It's beautiful. But you're just a humble guy. You, you might have a lot of money, but you also want to stay true to your roots. Let's just, let's just stay close to the ground so you, don't, you guys don't have any spoilers. You want to stay true to your roots. And you want to... You might live in that place up there, but you have a very small house where your mama... Your mama still owns. Where you grew up. In the ghetto. In the ghetto. And if mama cry. Ghetto. That's where you grew up, Johan. That's where it all started. And now you're now you're a real success living up in the mountains. Congratulations. Yeah, I feel like this is Grove Street. I mean we'll we're gonna by the way, this is all gonna be detailed. We're gonna leave Johan's place there where he grew up. This rough old neighborhood. Next to the pancake shop we'll detail your place don't worry about it don't worry about it johan it's, it's coming but um yeah this this actually this this whole area here is um getting ready to be totally updated into some real ghetto neighborhood let's just show you a couple little things while we're down this way whoa computer struggling struggle struggle um yeah all this is going to be detailed i'm going to be putting in some more abandoned houses and some vacant lots and some industrial places it's going to look sick but yeah this is where i started johan and now you're now you're just a humble millionaire sitting up on your deck looking over montana whoa we got about you guys Pardon me. Alright, little trick. If you don't want to be placing down these ugly power lines, just connect them up with some smaller buildings. Actually, that's not a trick. That's just how you play city skylines. Teaching you guys something new. If you want your buildings to be connected to the power grid, then just place down some more buildings so that the power grid can connect up. Yes. You guys learn that from me? Did I teach you that? Now these places are too nice. This is this is like housing commission here. So they should probably be a little bit less nice. Not so nice. But uh, that's gonna be a roundabout at some point. Come on two dollars. Stay focused. Couple of these, I think. In the ghetto, my mother cried. In the ghetto, yeah, that's better. So it's gonna be more like that. Oh, look, we're gonna get, we'll get to this spot. We're not here yet. We're not ready. I'm not gonna work in this area. I'm just placing them down. All right, so. We're not, we're not worrying about these places yet. Just placing down some houses. Get a bit of power. Alright. This is the trick I wanted to teach you guys. So. Find a super small building. Like this. And just place it down somewhere. Let's actually get... A bit of industry. Let's get this guy. This is like my favourite one just to place down randomly. Get him. You look at your power. Pick him up using move it. Drag it along like this. There you go. Now we have power. And no water. I 
is happy now. Ooh, we need water. Can't have showers. Ooh. I water my garden. Looking good, looking good. No clubbing district? Yeah, we have a clubbing district. Um, I can't show you because uh, that's for the next episodes, but it's, I drag the, um, I drag the light rail down next to the clubbing district. No Fs in the chat, please. Thank you very much. Yeah, so Victor Hill, yeah, it's a bit of a mix of Los Angeles. Um, uh, yeah, we'll probably put down some more high-density buildings. Maybe we'll put a couple of apartment blocks, like just some smaller ones. And then that'd be good. Um, yeah, guys, seriously, um, hit up the wiki if you want to write up some, some stories behind this place. Or if you want your own house there, you can always give yourself a, a, a place. Um, a lot of people are uploading pictures to the wiki, so they'll be like, oh... Like, I was like, you know, I'll be looking at this and I'll just take a quick picture of it and then I'll upload it to the wiki, which is like a cool way of getting images on there too. Gate of the God. What an absolute legend. Just, just pew, 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 pew. Oh, dude. Uh, Nichelle, your Nichello, Nich, Nichol, Nichello, Nicolo, Nich, Nichello, Nicolo, dude, you made the um, light rail map on Discord. That was a um, a beautiful map. Uh, next episode of Marble Mountain, I will be doing. I'll be finishing up the light rail network. So um, and it, it's pretty much follows what you had already done, but it gives a whole bunch of names and um, other things like that. So it should be a bit more up to date. So yeah, look forward to that. But dude, thank you for making that. That was really cool. It was epic. Good size. Good size. Place building there. Yeah, we should do a couple of apartments. Still screaming for people. By the way, if you haven't noticed, our um, population has increased of a lot um that's just some of the work that i do in future episodes increasing the population a fair bit uh yeah some good episodes coming up so in case you missed the beginning i um if you're worried that Marble Mountain's gonna disappear because Sichuan Province is out. I've actually been working pretty bloody hard to, you know, get some more episodes ready for Marble Mountain. I'm also super dedicated in Marble Mountain at the moment. I'm like just loving everything that we're doing. Um, really loving all like the support you guys are giving. Really loving uh, all the stories that are coming up on the wiki and on the Discord and all the uh, interactions with you guys. It's been really fun actually. I've been really enjoying. I don't like that collaboration um, with this series. And also I'm just loving that Marble Mountain is actually starting to become like a total city and a total province, which is has always been the plan. So it's not gonna go anywhere because I'm a little bit too obsessed to um, stop making these videos. That being said, uh, the plan is to release smaller episodes of Marble Mountain during the week. So there'll be like episodes where I, I don't know, detail areas or work on a suburb or, uh, you know, something that's probably not as big as, I don't know, building the port or building an airport or working on the light rail system. Because believe it or not, they actually take a hell of a lot of, uh, they take a lot of time to plan and a lot of, uh, you know, figuring out what it's going to look like because it really impacts the whole series, uh, what I do there. Um, whereas working on a suburb or doing some detail work or you know whatever it is um, sometimes they don't take very they're not very hard to record or prepare so I plan to do them midweek 
Um, I'm also going overseas in a couple of weeks, and I'm moving house next week, and I've been smashed with work. But I think you guys are going to be looking at two videos a week. I don't know how I've done it, but I've done it. So there's actually going to be more videos. Um, it's not going to be every week there's going to be two videos, but um, I kind of I don't really want you guys to have to wait a whole two weeks. So just say if I do, you know, if I'm only uploading on Saturdays and I do a Sichuan Province episode rather than a Marble Mountain, then that's two weeks without Marble Mountain. And I don't really want that. Uh, otherwise, I don't know, I feel like you'll start clocking off and I want to, I don't want to keep this series alive. I don't want to keep all my series alive. So I'm going to be trying really hard to get two videos a week. Um, on either, on either videos, on either series. So that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty exciting. Uh, it, yeah, I'm trying to do things in a slightly different way. Um, but I sure don't have the time. But I do make the time. Good oaks. I think that's pretty much all the houses. Oh, let's get some houses up there. It's probably too steep. That's why I wasn't doing it. Uh, that's the sound it would usually make. Fortunately, my sound's coming through. Would you like some more sounds? <laughs> that's the sounds that it would be making if sound was working. Um, just in case you guys forgot the sounds of City Skylines. I think I might have turned the sound off because I was getting sick of the demolish sound effect. You know that sound effects? Oh my god. Let's get you a better view. There we go. That's a nice view, isn't it? Isn't it, mate? Beautiful. How's that steep, steep incline? Almost ready for some trees to really polish this place off. What time is it? 9.30. I've got 20 more minutes. Okay, and then I really need to go. I have to get on with my day. Um, no shops. I've got no shops here. Hmm. Um, bot one, dude. Thank you for becoming a patron. I really appreciate that. That's amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, enjoy. Uh, I'm gonna be releasing a new um, episode, episode two for patrons. Actually, when I finish doing this live stream. So Gator, look forward to that. Bot one. Look forward to that. Any other patrons in the chat, look forward to that. Um, episode 2 is pretty cool. Hmm. Um, commercial? What do you think, guys? Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm like not really going to do too much detail. Okay. The plan for the next 20 minutes, foliage these bad boys up, do a bit of terraforming, and that's it. I'm going to leave this for the time being. Uh, I'll get to that maybe in an episode or might do another live stream at some stage but um i will i kind of want that to be a, a slightly more detailed than what i'm going to do to um what i'm going to do to the suburbs um so that's the idea but do i need do i need some commercial because i feel like we're should probably get some shops on the overpass yeah i think you're probably right there should be a couple of shops we're not going to detail these bad boys. We're just going to place them down. I reckon somewhere around here. Sorry. Sorry, I know you just moved in and I just demolished. Well, I'm the government. I can do whatever I goddamn want, so suck it up. I am your government. Obey what I, what I say. Do what I do. I really like that building. That's good. 
I feel like they need some sort of... Oh, now this is the one we want. I always forget about this building, but it's so... It's so damn good. It would actually belong in the workshop. But if we're going to place that one down, we can't place that. Honestly, I feel like different people... Like, they weren't talking to each other when they created some of these buildings. Like, this... Is not... Like, that is not created by the same person. Look at this one. Like, this is, like, completely out of... It's just completely... Oh, look at those windows. Look at those windows and look at these ones. Look at this door and look at these. It's ridiculous. Okay. Let's come on. I'm trying to bloody do a series based on vanilla assets and you give me assets like this? Nah, I do love you guys. Thank you for making this game. It's really good. We're not going to detail this, guys. We're just going to place in a couple buildings and then go. That's it. Hmm. Hmm. You know, maybe like a takeout shop. Maybe a... Probably should do parking. Let's do parking. Oh. Um, I really like doing parking that doesn't connect up to the road. First, you don't have to make it connect. It still works. Oh, uh, yes, said, uh, uh, like that. Yeah, they have to cross the road, but it's not busy. It's not busy around here. Only the locals. Only people using these shops are the locals. I'm not going to do it like a petrol station. Get rid of the market. I love this market. Gator! No! Guys, what do you think? Do I keep this or do I get rid of it? Keep, 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 keep. All right, sorry, Gator. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm gonna keep. Oop. All right, parking. Um. Parking, parking behind the markets. Yeah, you're probably right. Too close to that road, so that's a bit better. Something like this. Let's drag a little road behind it. This is more work than I anticipated. Let's not go too far into this, like that. This, like that. That's about it. That's all I really wanted, just like a little bit of shops, just so they've got something. Um, we'll give them like tennis courts and things like that another stage. Let's just stick with getting a bit of detail work, because otherwise it just looks like we've placed out a bunch of buildings that look really ugly. We want a little bit of foliage, just foliage is great. Alright, we're just going to keep that super. Alright, that's too insane. 
It's a scrub. Sorry, all this will work. Trust me. I'm a professional. Alright, let's start with the detail. Pro Whoa, dude. Whoa. What's going on, buddy? Oh my god. Settle down, honestly. Far out. Some drivers, am I right? Like, I know what you guys are saying, like, oh, City Sky is so, so inaccurate, like, so bad. But I've seen cars do that. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever driven in Sydney, but people literally drive like that. What that guy just did is how people drive in Sydney. I don't know. Is that the same for you guys, or is it just Sydney? That's that's too big anyway. Let's just. Alright, here's a little here's a little thing that I like to do. Um, because I want my ridges all nice and brown and my valleys all nice and green. Um, and it's kind of hard to predict where that's going to happen using this. I like to just do my little bit of work like this now. Like that. Let's just say let's leave it like that. This. This can be a little bit unpredictable. Right, so now that we've done that, now I can then create my ridges based on those colors. An express tunnel would look good, plus some people might work in the industrial area. An express tunnel, um, like I've, I've got mixed feelings about placing tunnels. Um, firstly, I like to see all my traffic, just kind of like a weird thing, but I kind of like seeing traffic in City Skylands, because it's sort of fun to see everything moving around and working. And then if you use a tunnel, then like, you don't see it as much. Uh, so yeah, I tend to try and avoid tunnels. And um, plus, if I end up doing driving videos and you know it's like half of it's through a tunnel, I think it's not quite as interesting. Alright, just a bit of a realization that I'm probably gonna only get time for terraforming and the is going to have to come at another time just because I actually have to terraform before I do any trees and that's a fact um, I'm really I'm kind of like a lazy terraformer you know like I <clears throat> excuse me I uh, get like most I get the gist of what I want to do with the terraform, and then I go like, oh, I give up. Um, but that's not looking too bad. It's steep, like it's very steep, but I, um, I don't know. I'm not gonna go too detailed. But that is looking good. And some of these places can actually just be dropped a bit. Yeah. I'm like quite different levels, which 
I like. You know what? That's fine. I take that back. Let's start placing down some trees. So, my technique. My technique is to place down these bad boys because, okay, so first up, just want to let you know that that's not a very big mountain. Like that's not a very big ridge. And I want to give the illusion that it is bigger than it really is. So rather than using these trees, like I've done, um, which are fine, which are cool trees, but they um, are actually kind of big and it hides the houses quite a lot. So I don't really mind it too much around here, but around this way, I'm gonna use mostly the smaller trees. Um, sort of like what I've done here, which I really love this sort of detail work that I've done. Uh, I'm gonna do something similar around this side, just because I want this place to look much bigger than it really is. Um, especially because I'm given the illusion that this is very far away from this. So uh, everything needs to look like much bigger than it really does. Um, am, I wrong? am I right guys? Huh? Huh? Am I right? So, oh yep, disappeared. And by the way, my graphics settings are turned down heaps just because my my computer can't. Well, when I live stream and uh, have super high detail uh, settings. So another just little while we're just while we're just talking while I'm just rambling, I, I tend to increase my no, I, I always increase my graphic settings like greatly when I do time lapses. So um. All my time lapses are done with like unsustainable, unrealistic settings. And then when I do live plays, I turn them down a fair bit so then we get a much smoother FPS. And then when I do live streams, I turn them down like drastically. So that's why it probably doesn't look as nice as it usually does because I'm um, turned down the settings a fair bit. But the performance is much better. And then I go and say something stupid like popping down lots of props. So lots of props. So just killing the FPS once again. But it's gonna look good. It's gonna be worth it. So worth it. I can already hear my computer killing itself. Going, please don't. Oaks. Not looking too bad. The ridges. Now I'm gonna go in and place some bigger trees. Now scattered is the key. Um, these ones are quite nice. Um, they are a pedelmos, the pedelmo trees, and they're good for filling because they're actually quite low poly. I feel like I was doing a makeup tutorial then for a second. You apply the treats to the face rather than gently into the cheek points. A counterclockwise motion place down the treats. Cover all the ridges. Not to go. I don't know if I've really got a face for a makeup tutorial. Now some very big trees. Again, like, not gonna go too crazy. Uh, they're mostly used to hide a couple of places that look a bit iffy. Um, placing most of the trees in the valleys because that's where the trees are generally. Uh, uh, I don't know, maybe one, maybe one around there. Am I gonna make an airport for Marble Mountain? Yes, I am, but not for a while. Um, yeah, a lot of people do say I sound like Bob Ross, which I don't really hear it, but I take it as an influence. No, it probably is not. What time is it? 
9.45. I have to go at 10 o'clock. I must go at 10 o'clock. I could honestly do this all day. <sighs> Where am I working in terms of the map? Right here. So the suburb going into Montana. Man, that looks good. I am so excited about that. Like, how good does that look? That's no detail, no trees. With foliage and trees, it's going to look sick. And we're going to extend it probably about this far, but not today, because, yeah. We're just not going to get there. All right, back to it. Must stop getting distracted. Now, these ones, now these are my favorites. These are like clusters. Um, really old model, but they're great. Big clusters of of like these smaller bushes, and they're actually fit perfectly with the with the other stuff of Marble Mountain. Um, that looks great. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Now these are like the bushiest areas of this area. We'll probably extend it out a little bit, but that is kind of as ology as I'm going to get it. Um, and around these places, they're going to be a little more um, something. I'm only going to be placing trees where there's like huge amounts of imperfection. Continue with the ridges. Now, I think some small tree time. These are bushes. I place these like really into the ridges. So like following up where you'd sort of imagine the runoff would be. Like the runoff would be up around here, down there. And it gives like a really cool illusion that there's a ridge here, even though there's not so much. Key is not to go too overboard, which I always do every bloody time rigidity ditch ditch so once you've done your ridges then then the smaller ones so pretty much just starting with like the biggest oh that one so starting with the biggest ones first then making my way downtown da, 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 da. My, making my way down to the smaller trees until I get to the bushes S sprinkle them on top because all those ridges that's yeah all those ridges will be pretty dry a couple small ones but they're yeah, probably too small Hey, hey, hey! Getting somewhere, aren't we? Looking pretty bare, though. All right, pushing forward, kiddos. We're not stopping for no one. Now, around the houses. I try to do more perimeter stuff. So people who are trying to seek a bit of privacy, do a couple of straight lines. Da, 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 da. Um, also just going with the same tree, not like I'm gonna change it too much just for the time being. You see why I don't do this in time lapses? Because I think it'd just be a little bit well, I don't, actually, I don't know why I'm doing this in a live play. It's a little bit boring. But the end product, always what we're here. That's coming up. Um, and also, something that I do like to do is, so around the like uh, more naturey parts of the um, mountains, it's more based on like what sort of trees you'd find in this area. 
Whereas around here, around near the houses, you can start introducing some more like introduced trees. So trees that um, are probably not native to the area. So I'll put a couple of these ones because you wouldn't really see them in the wild. They're a bit more pruned. That. I'm going to get two overboards. Um, and then there are a couple. I'm gonna, I like putting a couple of cactus in because I think people like cactus. Um, there's another tree that looks very much. Ah! Ha 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 ha! Can't be a 20 build if I don't put some bloody palm trees down. To be honest. A couple in the front yard, a couple in the backyard. Always in lines. Like I said, not looking for perfect, looking for results. Um, tempted to change the road just because there's a lot of concrete. See what I'm saying? Like, what about if we change it to change? I always do this. Always go. I'm going to use this road, and then I always want to change it. I think that's probably going to be better because there's less concrete. I mean, we don't need so much concrete around here. Hopefully, those roads stay pretty much. Yeah, they're totally messed up. That's wonderful news, everyone. Whoa, why me? Then I like to place my own trees along the sidewalk because I'm a maniac. Oh, Gator, are you leaving, my friend? Still sticking around. Um, can I share my Spotify list? All these music is actually on uh, my Epidemic Sound. Uh, you have to pay for the subscription, so um, I can't really share it. So you just have to watch more live streams. <laughs> uh, but I'm glad you enjoy the music because, you know, it took me a while to figure out exactly the music I wanted to play. I didn't want to just do like... I wanted to say chill, but also a bit funky. Do I have fire departments nearby? No, I definitely need a fire department nearby. Especially because this is like a nice neighborhood. So we don't want to like... We don't want the neighborhood to burn down. They don't want the neighborhood to, to burn down. We should fight this one. <laughs> Sound effects. <laughs> Guys, how good is that? Loving that. Yeah, you're a good, you're a good man for um, taking care of the moderation. I really appreciate it. Something that's gonna really add to this is adding in some fences. Fences are like my go-to detail work. Um, people always bend the fences, but I like to just do a nice jagged line because these are planks of wood, not some bendy thing. But we're not gonna bend him around. We're just gonna. So I might end up doing like a small episode based on a Wednesday or something that'll be based on um, the suburb and um, I can finish it off and we can do some live playing things. Um, and this is probably my, la my last live stream maybe for about a week or so. What am I saying? That doesn't sound like a bad thing. That sounds like a great thing. What I'm trying to say is uh, my new place is like I need to set up internet and apparently it's gonna be nice and easy um, but I am just like worried that it's gonna take ages so I might 
I'll be on holidays next week as well. Uh, not next week, the week after. So um, I'm going to be trying to record a fair bit of stuff in um, advance before I go overseas. So I think I might do some live streaming. So I might even finish off the neighborhood then. But we'll have to have a wait and see. Couple rocks. They're not the best rocks. Um, I would not recommend, by the way, just going full vanilla like I am. And when I say full vanilla, it's like not even full vanilla, but I wouldn't even recommend doing as much vanilla as I'm doing because there are so many better assets out there. What time is it? Whoa, 9.57. We need to finish up, fellas and ladies. Um, but that that is pretty much that is pretty much it. I mean, we've done that much. That's a fair decent amount for a live stream. Live streams, it's hard to get much done. I think that's a fair decent amount of work being done. Um, I've done a pretty good job at not looking too much at the chats, so I'm sorry if I've ignored you guys if you've been asking questions. Uh, it's obviously not finished. This side is going to look very similar to this, so I'll probably do that um, by myself, not on screen. So um, you guys can only get some really interesting um, videos. Uh, any questions before I wrap it up and get myself another coffee and make myself a sandwich? Any questions? Any questions about Marble Mountain? Any questions about a new series? Any questions? Any comments? Um, guys, you should hit up the wiki as well. Oh god, something's going on with my computer. There we go. Um, you guys should hit up the wiki too. If you want to like collaborate and get some stories down for Victorville, so Victor Hills, um, and for any other places in Marble Mountain, then you should check out the Discord too because there's like a whole bunch of people who are like dedicated to adding to the wiki and um, yeah, I'm sure someone's going to come up with some cool stories about Victor Hills. <sighs> Watch FPS low. That's my FPS unfortunately. Max, it's not too bad. But I am kind of out of the city and I've just detailed this area. Make a resort? That's a great idea. We should make a resort. I'll leave that for the, another stream. Love your new series. Have you have been following for a while? Thank you for thank you for sharing. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. And thanks for following for a while. What's your graphics card? Check my description. All that stuff's below. 1 a.m. over in the UK. Dude, anyone still watching from Europe, UK, England, Scotland? I really appreciate anyone who stayed up just to watch this. You should all get some sleep. It's important. Any more travel plans for the future? I'm heading to Germany uh, in a couple of weeks. Um, connect the dots, if you will, for the reason why I'm heading to Germany. Uh, shouldn't take a detective to figure that out, but I am heading to Germany. Um, and then, on my way home from Germany, I've got a five-day stopover in uh, Chongqing, which is um, I'm going to dedicate to filming and vlogging and um, getting some cool... Um, cool shots. Um, I'm really excited to go to go to China, and I'll be there by myself, just purely uh, to take videos. Uh, and also, I kind of wanted to see how this the first part of this series was going to go down for Sichuan Province to see if um, people are actually going to enjoy that part of it, because obviously not every part of that series is going to be me. Um, it's not gonna be me like vlogging like that. Like that that particular intro for the last episode was pretty big. Um, whereas some of them are like maybe like 15 seconds, some of them are like a minute, some of them are shorter. So it's all varies. But I do want to do more of that sort of stuff. It's kind of fun. Greetings from New York, dude. Bob Stewart, man, I'd love to go back to New York. I was there a couple of years ago. I travel a lot. You're planning to upgrade your computer soon? I really am. I, um, to be honest, I just haven't really had much of an opportunity to stay away from my computer to upgrade it. Plus, I don't really know what CPU to get. I want to get something decent. Uh, it's a CPU that sucks for me. And probably the power source and all that sort of stuff. My GPU is great. My RAM's great. Yeah. So I need to, um, need to upgrade most of the CPU. How's the forehead cam going on? 
Man, that guy said I had a receding hairline. That bastard. How dare he? I did not have a receding hairline. This is my big forehead that I've had since I was five years old. Gosh dang it. But yeah, forehead cam. And why are you going to Germany? Just turned up. So just tuned in. Um, I'm going to Germany um, for something. If you can figure that out. I don't know if I meant to say it yet. Mm. Alright. Oh. 10 o'clock. I need to meet my mum in a couple of hours. To go and check out my new place. Um, I'll be in Berlin. Which will be very exciting. Um, guys, thank you so much for tuning in for this live stream. Um, <laughs> it's so much fun. I had so much fun in this live stream. Uh, I really want to do more of them. Thank you so much to everyone who donated. Um, and I actually got a couple of notifications for people who became patrons as well. So, like, that's incredible. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that support. And everyone who's here, everyone who gave suggestions, everyone who stuck through the whole two hours that I was streaming, or even if you just popped in and popped out, I really appreciate it. Um, I feel like I've got such a really nice community that follows this channel. Yeah, always such nice feedback, always um, such nice words. Yeah, you guys are absolute legends. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, Wednesday, you'll be watching Sichuan Province. And then this weekend, I've got a huge episode of Sichuan Province lined up. So um, enjoy. Uh, this video will be up on YouTube to watch. If you want to if you want to rewatch it, then you can rewatch it. <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, Marble Mountain will be back in two weeks. I'll be doing um, the light rail system. All right, I've got to shut up. Thanks guys for coming. I really appreciate it. Love you all. I'll see you in the next one. Where's my OBS? Bye right, guys. See ya.